At this point, you probably already know the basic forms of government, even if you might not think you do. You know, a democracy is ruled by the people, an oligarchy ruled by a few, dictatorships and monarchies have one ruler, and anarchies have none. And all of the many different forms and subforms that fall in between. Some have many differences, and some have seemingly endless synonyms for one another. You can refer to your textbook, a dictionary, or even Google to sharpen your vocabulary on these terms, because I won't be going over the precise definitions in this video. Instead, I'll be teaching you an exercise to identify, compare, and contrast the various forms of government in the world in a more nuanced way. It consists of two short questions. Who governs? And how much control do they have? So let's say that we have a short list of countries, and we want to better understand their forms of government. First we ask, who governs for each country on the list? And we place that country and its form of government somewhere along an answer spectrum, with everyone on one end and no one on the other. For example, democracies and their many varieties will be placed at their respective positions near the left end of this spectrum. Likewise, forms of government with fewer people in charge will be placed in their respective positions on the spectrum as well, in this case to the right, with, for example, anarchies at the no one end of the spectrum, and forms with greater numbers of people involved in governing placed near the other end of the spectrum, respectively. And it's important to remember that the placement of each form of government may be different depending on each particular country's individual government. For example, one country's oligarchy may be governed by a greater number of oligarchs than another's brand of oligarchy, for example. The placement of these governments can move along this spectrum and can change with time. This slide is just a visual guide with a few examples out of a long and ever-changing list of terms that we use to define different forms of government. When we're done with this part, we set the results to the side for later comparison, and we ask the second question. How much control do they have? As before, we consider our list of countries and the different forms of government available to choose from, only this time our answers will be placed along a spectrum with no control on one end and total control on the other. Again, two countries with the same form of government won't necessarily fall in the same position on the spectrum every time. Most of the time, each government will be unique depending on the circumstances. We can now compare and contrast the two answer spectrums. We can make observations and take note of interesting variations between the two spectrums. We can ask questions, engage in discussion, and gain a more refined, dynamic understanding of the many forms of government that exist in the world today, or at any given point in history. Now it's your turn. Make your own short list of countries and try the exercise for yourself. You might be surprised at what you discover. <laughs> 